Welcome to Simple Software Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to create a drop-down list in Excel. So I've got them kind of outlined here and I've got screenshots of what each looks like, um, but I'm going to take you through each one. So for this example, we're going to create a drop-down list for t-shirt sizes. So first thing I want to do is just kind of create, you know, I'm going to select a size and I'm going to do this twice since we're looking at two methods here. So the first way we're going to do this is I'm going to click in the cell or cells that I want to create the drop-down list in. Next thing, I want to click on data. And what I'm going to do here, just because I know I'm going to be pasting this information, is I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to copy these shirt sizes. I'm going to control C to copy that. Click back in here. Now you want to go to data validation which may or may not make sense. It doesn't really make sense to me, but I know that it's there. So on this data validation modal here, we want under allow, we want to select list, and that is what creates the drop-down list. And then for source, what we can do is we can paste control uh, V that information there. Okay, so you just put it in the order that you want it in the list with a comma between each item and it will create your drop-down list. So I'm going to click on OK and you can see I've got this um, drop-down right here. When I click on it, there's my options. Now if I want to add on to this list, what I can do is click on the cell again and then click on data validation again. It's going to pull up my list here and I can just go ahead and add an additional size or sizes or make changes that I want. Again, just list them in the order that you want them in the drop down. Click OK. There's the updated list. So pretty easy. Now for the second method, this is um, how I've always done it. Um, this works best if you have longer lists or just don't want to do it. <laughs> the uh, the first method I showed you. So what I do here is is I put it on a, on a separate uh, worksheet. You don't have to, but I like putting it on a separate worksheet uh, specifically intended for just keeping data on. That way I'm not shifting cells around because what I could potentially do is I, if I put it on this sheet is as I'm working, I could really mess up my list. I could reorder it or delete stuff that I don't mean to. So what I did is I have this data sheet here and I have my shirt sizes, okay? I'm just gonna delete that because I'm gonna show you something. So it's pretty easy. What I like to do is in the, the first cell here is I name, I give a name for this, okay? So I'm going to copy this name. You don't have to do it this way, but it just makes it so much easier for me. Um, and then you've got your list of all your data. Go ahead and highlight that, that list uh, with the first, you know, from the first item to the last. Have it in the order that you want it. And then in this box right here, the name box, I'm going to click here and I'm going to control V to paste shirt sizes there. Again, you can manually type it in. You don't have to have this header here, but it's a really great way to remember what I named this because it's going to be important. So I'm going to hit enter. And now I've named this section. So if I click anywhere in the document, and I click on shirt sizes, it's going to highlight that selection. Okay. And I, I have the name of it here so I can easily uh, control C, copy that. And I'm going to go back to my drop downs uh, page. So right here, I'm going to click again in the cell that I want. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to click on data validation. And then on the settings tab, we want to allow for a list. And then for the source, we are going to paste the name of that list that we just made. So you're going to want to enter an equal sign and then control V to paste it. Or if you uh, memorize what it's called, um, you can enter it in there. Just make sure it's exactly how you named it on the other sheet. So I'm going to click OK. And there's our list. Now it can be a little challenging if you want to add or ch make changes to this list. Um, that's why this m first method might be a little easier to edit, but it's not that complicated. So I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to go back to our data tab. So say I want to add a size onto this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this control C and then paste control V and paste it over here. I'm going to highlight this row because I want to keep the same name. I want to keep uh, shirt sizes as the name. So all I have to do is highlight and delete. You can see that shirt sizes is gone from here. 
So now I can type in 4XL because I can't just add it to the end um, and have it recognize it. Excel doesn't work that way. You have to define everything. So again, I'm going to copy this range name. I'm going to select the range with the added size. Go right back here, paste, enter. So now if I click out of there, when I click shirt sizes, it's going to select everything that I have there. If I added to it like 5XL, um, it's, it's not going to add that unless I do that method I just showed you. So now we can go back to our drop downs and because I kept the same name, it has automatically added that additional size to my list. So it's not, it's not super complicated to do. Um, there's just two methods. I've got my screenshots right here, which are hopefully helpful in my methods. And I have that in the video description. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful and hopefully interesting videos. Uh, give me a like or comment if, if, you, if this was helpful for you or you have questions or ideas. I love your ideas and have a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in.